Secret Lab has been announced here at CES. This is one best to show. Uh, it is the definitive. I'm really unhappy. <laughs> The definitive tablet in many ways. This is a tablet a lot of people who didn't buy tablets as Christmas have been waiting for. Um, it's the first Android 3.0 Honeycomb tablet. So it is running Honeycomb and Google said you can go out of the box now. This is going to be ready for prime time this quarter. So it's coming in the next uh, 90 days. We've got a sneak peek of some of the new capabilities of Honeycomb uh, via some videos on here. It's not ready for prime time yet to show, but we'll show you some of the highlights. Let's start off with some of the hardware components as well. Uh, what I'm playing here is a full HD movie. This is a 10.1 inch HD display. It's like ripping your plasma screen off the wall, put it in the palm of your hands, and watching HD movies. Don't know if it shows up on the iPhone, but the, the image is stunning. Stunning. It's 16 by 9. It's the way movies were meant to be. That was the brief that we gave to our design engineers. No letter. A nice comment against Apple right there. So much reduced letterboxing yep. uh, is playing movies the way they're meant to be. You can see that part of the reason for this beautiful crisp graphics and the speed of the graphics is the dual core processor. So it's the first tablet on a dual core processor. So both of these are running one one dual core. Dual core, one gigabyte of RAM. People are calling these things tablet PCs, so I'll brief again to our engineers and stuff. Let's make it as much like a PC as possible. Put in some PC grade capabilities. Um, and that's why it's running such beautiful graphics. As we come on to some of the Google services, another reason for that dual core processor is because you're going to be doing a lot of stuff uh, on it, including browsing the web. So, number one, what's your move is number two, the new uh, browser specifically for Honeycomb. As you can see here on my home screen, I can flick through the scrollable widgets. Is this real time? This is, video, video. This is a video. Video real time? This is a video, real time. Wow. I touch and hold, I open a new tab, multi-tab browsing for the first time on Android. Wow. Because it's like I want to do on my home computer. I click a triangle, it will play the video in the web browser. We support Adobe Flash 10.1, as you'd expect from Motorola. And it's the full. Full flash, not the mobile. Full flash, flash 10.1. I saved my bookmarks to these beautiful thumbnail views. We've also added a new uh, feature on here, incognito mode, so I can actually switch off uh, my browser. So that's a sneak peek of the browser. Let's also look at Google uh, eBooks. Uh, over three million books already available for the new Google eBook service. But it'll also do Kindle and Book apps. So Support we'll through apps. Android apps, yeah, absolutely. With Google Books, I get this uh, beautiful uh, interface here, specifically designed for Honeycomb. Uh, these books are cloud-based, so they're synchronized to my Google account, just like my contact, my email. This is 32 gig, mate? This is 32 gig uh, on board. will eventually support uh, micro SD support for a software upgrade. So the slot's there, but the upgrade has to come. I paste through uh, my books. It will rotate to portrait as well as landscape. Uh, so that's Google eBooks. Look at Google Maps. Uh, new Google Maps 5.0, again recently announced that we're getting a lot of this stuff ready for this tablet. As I open up Google Maps now vector-based maps. So what that means is they're not bit maps. Uh, the dual core processor, the vector maps. Look how fast that was. Again, that's wow. real time. Wow. Multi-touch, multi-point touch. As these buildings come up, I'm dragging with multiple fingers. It's recognizing I've got multiple fingers on the screen, and I'm manipulating around with multiple fingers. I'm going to zero in on Times Square. Hit Street View. Pinch to zoom. That dual core processor, the graphics rendering, um, the Google Maps software. What's what's the battery life going to be? The battery life is uh, 10 hours of continuous uh, movie playback. Again, that dual core processor is helping with that because it's using the processing to be more efficiently as I'm doing multiple things on right. it. Uh, we've also 10 hours real. 10 hours, 10 hours continuous real. And we're facing camera. Uh, so let's take a look at uh, GTOR uh, on the Motorola Zoom. So more and more of my contacts in uh, Google have got this little green 
uh, button on there showing a video cam it's because they've got a webcam on their PC or they've got a Motorola Zoom or other devices they're away I'm straight away into my uh, my video chat and mobile right how many of us have popped around a little webcam on a PC trying to uh, I can hand this around the family and uh, do you switch to the back camera back camera are you able to switch between the cameras for Google? You're able to switch between the cameras so I spin around here, um, here's a 5 megapixel camera that captures in HD, dual LED, because I'm videoing in HD, I want to output that right on my HD screen or output it so we've got HDMI out on my plasma screen. That will also support mirror mode so I can do things on here and play them on my large plasma screen. Pretty much a definitive tablet. Every person we've reviewed this way is just wowed by it. Wow. It's one best of show. We're very proud of it. It's coming to Verizon this quarter, so within the next 90 days, wow. it will be a 3G Wi-Fi version. It will then be upgradable to 4G in Q2. You take it back to Verizon, you pop into your local electronic retailer, you'll be up, able to do a hardware and software upgrade uh, to 4G. Hardware upgrade, not of the tablet, but of the chip inside. Of the of the uh, antenna, the antenna and the chip to uh, and for free. To. Still working through pricing. There's likely to be some uh, pricing to the consumer, yeah. but you have the uh, reassurance that you haven't got an obsolete tablet to start to import. Nice metal back. This is metal back goods. As you'd expect from Motorola, we put a lot of effort into our colors, materials, and finishes. If you pay good money for these products, you want to want to feel. Yeah, that's fair. So the new home screen for Honeycomb, you have the five panels uh, like you have on Android. But as I say, one of the cool new things we've added, you've got the real estate to use fingers. You see, there's no physical Android keys here. It's all touch-based. I have these scrollable widgets right on my home screen. Have you light sensor? Light sensors, we've got... Uh, so the difference, I mean, one of the difference here is that the tab is using uh, a phone OS. Honeycomb, obviously, as everybody knows, is not a phone OS. It's a tablet specifically designed to be a tablet. It's very polished. It's very and polished. And this is early days. With this, Google does all their software pretty much. There's still a lot more to come. What's the weight on this? Uh, the weight is about 720, so it's about 20 grams lighter than... So, that being a Samsung camera, I believe it. Game on. Game on. 